Hello there. Have you ever encountered a tick, a road wasp, or a giant centipede? If not, consider yourself lucky, because you would definitely never forget the bites of these creatures. And now, we will tell you why, in their case, the size really does not matter. Get ready, this sight is as intriguing as it is frightening. Poison is the perfect weapon for insects, as it causes terrible pain so that enough bites can drive a bear away. But ticks don't work that way. The fact is, they feed on us, or rather our blood, and therefore, the bite should be as invisible as possible. Both the jaws and the entire head of the tick are very tiny. By the way, if you want to pick up the most striking example of greed from the world of wildlife, then the female tick is the best option. After all, she will not unhook herself from the victim even after a few days, while the male eats and is done in six hours. Disgusting? Sure, but that's not the main threat. Ticks do not have venom, but they do transmit a range of diseases some of which can have serious consequences. First is the tick-borne encephalitis. This disease is really frightening because the virus affects the central nervous system, including the brain. Fortunately, there is an effective and affordable vaccine that protects against this infection. But encephalitis is just one of the many diseases that are transmitted by ticks. For example, you often hear about Lyme disease and Borreliosis. These arachnids also transmit this and more often than any other diseases. Often in the early stages, a specific spot appears at the site of the bite, and if treatment is started early, the symptoms can be reduced. True, Lyme disease can affect not only the brain, but also the heart and joint. Another problem is there is no specific treatment. You have to deal with the symptoms and take antibiotics. To protect yourself always after walking through the woods, you should inspect your clothes, check for ticks on your fabric, and take a shower. And if the tick has stuck, then it must be removed immediately so the chance of infection decreases. It is important not to tear off the head of the tick. So, what is the right way to remove it? Usually, a special device is used for this. The tick is removed in a circular motion gently and smoothly. Also, tweezers can be used or thread with a loop made in it and put it around the tick's head as close as possible to the human skin. After removing the tick, it is best to see a doctor and bring him the removed insect for analysis. But if you think ticks are the owners of the most terrible bite amongst anthropods, then you are mistaken. Have you ever been stung by wasps or bees? Sometimes it happens at the most unexpected and inopportune moment. However, a hornet, and the king among them is the Japanese giant hornet. They are three times larger than usual, and the main weapon is their poison, which literally puffs up the skin. The poison has a special smell, and other hornets perceive it as a marker for an attack and continue the attack. A meeting with this insect will definitely be remembered, if everything works out, of course. There are insects in the world whose bites are remembered, but not for the intensity of the pain from the usual sensation from the poison. Fire ants live in tropical latitudes, North and South America. Their ant hills merge very well with the surrounding land. The fact is that the fire ant got its name for a reason. Their bite causes a sensation as if the affected area was caught in a flame. The very strength of the painful sensation is not too great and a person can even endure a few bites. But because of the unusual composition of the poison, the pain is so similar to a real burn that you will never forget about meeting these insects. The bald-faced hornet is also an unusual experience. After its bite, those who have experienced the power of the poison of these insects claim that it is like accidentally having your hand pinched in a closing heavy door. Has anything like this ever happened to you? Then you can imagine what the bite is like. The pain is intense, throbbing as if from a blow. And this is not even the main thing. The problem with this North American hornet is that it has a smooth stinger. This means that the insect calmly removes it from the wound 
and then stings again and again, as if the plate of the bite is methodically beaten with a club. And if you remember that these hornets live in nests and protect them together, in general, you do not want to mess around with them. And it happens that an insect looks harmless or even cute, but its bite makes an even bigger impression than its unusual appearance. This is exactly the case with the velvet ant. The stinger is only on females and is very long, almost the length of the entire abdomen. The pain from the penetration of the poison is huge. It literally does not allow you to concentrate on a single word. After three minutes, it subsides, but the feeling of discomfort and unpleasant tingling persists for about half an hour. But there is an insect that does not try to surprise with special sensations from the poison. It goes the old proven method, relies on willpower, and so it has earned the formidable name Wasp Executioner. The stinger of this wasp causes an instant attack of incredibly sharp, intense pain. Even if the person was ready to be bitten, he just falls to the ground and screams in agony, and nothing can be done about it for several minutes until the body copes with the poison. Equally unforgettable is the attack of the tarantula hawk. This original name is not a bird or a spider, but the large road wasp in the world. So, who is it hunting? Are you afraid of spiders? Even if not, then you surely agree that these anthropods are tough predators because of the largest of them hunt not only insects, but even catch small rodents. So, the tarantula hawk hunts the biggest and strongest spiders in the world, the tarantulas. How do the wasps deal with them? With their poison, of course. And the wasp not only hunts spiders, but also lays eggs in them. When their larvae hatch, they devour the flesh of the prey spider. So it is important that the venom is strong enough to immobilize the prey, but not too toxic for permanent effects, as the spider must be alive when the larvae hatch. The poison of the tarantula hawk is a real instrument of torture. It does not pose a threat to life, but it causes such terrible pain that an adult healthy person can only fall and scream. It will be simply impossible to walk. Your legs will literally refuse. Pain rolls instantly, covers a person completely, and literally deprives you of strength. This state lasts for about five minutes, but seem to stretch for an eternity. This is the so-called Schmidt Sting Pain Index, and the tarantula wasp got four points out of four. For comparison, on this scale, the pain from the bite of an ordinary wasp is taken as a reference point, that is, as a one, and the pain from the fire ant's venom is only a 1.2. Moreover, in this scale, there is one more bonus place, especially for an insect that has an even more painful poisonous bite. This creature is eloquently called the bullet ant, and the reason for the name is not its speed, but the fact that the sensation of being bitten by a single ant is comparable to the pain of a gunshot wound. The poison causes real agony, which is simply impossible to endure. The shock simply knocks you down and does not allow you to move, speak, or even think. The indigenous inhabitants of the rainforest of America have come up with an incredible way to deal with pain. Dance. Rhythmic movements are distracting. Although the victim of a bite has to be held by the hands on both sides so as not to fall down, for some tribes, the bite of such an ant is something like a test of courage. How would you like such a test of your capabilities? But there are anthropods whose bite will leave an unforgettable impression, not even with the power of the poison, but with the pain from the sharpness of the jaws themselves. Can you imagine how powerful they must be? that a person would be hurt by the mere squeezing. The camel spider has such jaws. Its poison in humans causes only slight irritation, but the power of the bite itself is simply enormous. And more importantly, this spider does not bite the victim once. It literally chews it for as long as it can. Although it is not able to bite and break the skin of the arm of an adult, the feeling after it chews even for a few seconds is the feeling as if you've been stuck from a dozen needles. 
And yet, it's not even the end yet. We've saved this creature with the most memorable bite for last. Our finalist is the giant centipede, the largest centipede in the world. It can grow up to 12 inches long, and when it crawls, with all of its limbs moving, you really don't want to get in its way. This Scolopendra is poisonous, and although its toxin is not life-threatening, it causes such a strong burning sensation that even the most experienced researchers could not resist crying and screaming, waiting for the burning pain to subside even a little. And if you consider that during the bite, it also grabs the victim with its whole body, scratching with dozens of claws, this is definitely an unforgettable impression. Their poison is a great way to protect, but for hunting, however, it is also great. Who does the centipede attack? Well, for example, on young snakes. Strong poison and dozens of claws are not bad weapons. Do you agree? Which of these creatures scared you the most? Write your answers in the comments. And don't forget to put like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.